God bless you. Praise the Lord. This is Apostle Warren David Adams, your friend in the gospel. Preacher Warren. Amen. I want to address the gun violence that's going on in the world and the racism that's still going on in this wicked world. It's actually been going on for centuries. It seems like it's getting worse. The racism, it looks like it's repeating itself. Actually, it is. Praise the Lord. And the gun violence have gotten worse. I don't got to tell you that. For those who know what's going on in life, you already know that. You know what happened with the shooting in Buffalo at that store. It was sad. All those people got shot by this 18-year-old demonic evil teenager who hate black people. And then I believe the following week and not long later, then this evil happened up in Texas with this another young man, 18 years old, the same age. I don't know how to get in these guns, these rifles, and shot up those little children in the school. And then they had another uh, uh, a shooting going on in a church, a Chinese church. And then in a hospital, all these mass shootings going around in different states. And we're living in perilous times. The Bible declares in Second Timothy chapter number 3, verse number 1, that perilous times shall come. Read the rest of the chapter. Many shall be lovers of themselves, proud, boasters, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, haters of those that do good, haters of God. We're living in the last days. Amen. And by believing that even in this last day, Amen. In these last days that we're living in, what do you mean by last days? What it means is that we're coming towards the rapture. The end is near. Jesus is coming again, and the devil knows his time is near. So he's doing his best to take everybody he can to hell with him. And that is what he's doing. Many of you heard the gospel, and you went like this. Many of you heard about Jesus, said, I don't believe. Many of you are atheists, and many of you have been going to church for years, but you dropped out because you made a pact with the devil. The devil offered you fame and fortune, money and riches, and you gave Jesus up for that. But then your soul is going to be lost. Jesus said, what profits a man if you gain the whole world and lose his soul? Mark chapter 8, verse number 36. That stuff is not going to buy you into heaven, and money is not going to buy you, or rather save you from a burning hell. There's a lot of Hollywood stars and celebrities who died and went to hell. Yes, all that big money brought them a nice casket, maybe even a golden casket. But that didn't save their soul from torment, from being tormented by demonic powers who's tormenting them every day. There's no recess in hell. There's no forgiveness in hell. There's many people God has brought back to life and they told their testimony, but don't take that chance. God said today, I'm saying it again. Today, if you will hear my voice, hardly not your heart. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to you or me. Not even the next moment is guaranteed to us. Give your heart to Jesus. Make Jesus Lord of your life while you are alive now. Because the Bible said in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, it is appointed for men once to die. But the end is judgment. Why? Because of Adam and Eve who sinned against God. They were disobedient. God told them not to eat of the tree of knowledge and of good and of evil. The Bible didn't say it was an apple. The Bible didn't say it was a pear. They were not supposed to eat of the fruits on that tree. But they were disobedient. Eve was deceived by the devil who came in the form of a serpent. Then she persuaded Adam to eat that apple, that God, or rather not apple. I just said that we don't even know whether it was an apple or a pear or an orange. The Bible didn't say it was an apple, so I want to correct myself on that. Praise the Lord. It just said it was a fruit. They were disobedient. So because of that, God put the mind out of the Garden of Eden. It was disobedience that separated God from man. Sin. So now every baby that was born was born in sin. We all was born in sin. But thank God for Jesus Christ that he came to redeem us from our sins when he offered up himself as a sacrifice for the world. He died on the cross of Calvary, shed his blood for the loss. Loss in what? Loss in sin. Because if you would die now without Jesus and without the Lord sanctifying you holy, you will suffer in eternity in hell. The body go back to the dust and the soul is going somewhere. Heaven or hell. There's no purgatory like the Catholics have taught you. They taught you wrong. Someone said, well, I don't believe in hell. We have hell here on earth. You better believe there's a hell. There's a hell worse than hell here on earth. 
You can't hardly even hardly take it now. So how are you going to take the hell down there? Hell is a place of punishment. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 14. Isaiah said, hell has enlarged itself without measure, and there's a place worse than hell. It's called the lake of fire. Now, you think this sun is hot? Yes, it's extremely hot. Hell and the lake of fire is hotter. John chapter, uh, Revelation, rather, chapter 20, verse 14, I meant to say, John said, and I saw death and hell cast in the lake of fire. If you die without Jesus now, you're going there. Someone said, well, why would a loving God send me to hell? We must understand that God does not love sin. God does not love the evil that's going on in this world. He doesn't love all this racism and all this gun violence. He gave a commandment to Moses to give the Israel, which applies to the world now. Thou shalt not kill. Love thy neighbor as thyself. He wasn't talking about love a specific race, our color. He meant love all races. Yes, God chose Israel out of all the nations to be his holy people, royal priesthood. But Israel kept rebelling against God and did just what God told them not to do. When God told Israel, when he gave the commandments to Moses, actually he gave Moses 613 commandments according to the Torah. Although we only talk about the Ten Commandments, one of the commandments said, Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not worship any graven images. Not supposed to worship statues. Yet Israel took God's glory and gave it to a statue. Gave it to Baal. Kept provoking God to jealousy and to anger. So God turned them over into captivity. Now as time began to go on, we in the time of grace, where God came in human form as Jesus of Nazareth to offer up himself on the cross, to shed his blood for the loss for all nations. That's why he said in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, that means blacks, whites, Indians, Chinese, Jamaican, African, Arab, no matter what nationality you are, to whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, God loves the world, but he doesn't love the sin that the world is committing. I got to teach that. He love us, but he hate our wicked ways. That's why God wants us to turn from our wicked ways. According to 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, he said, If my people, which I call by my name. Now, we are all God's people because we was created by God. We are all God's people humanly. But we are not all God's people spiritually. Because in order to be God's people spiritually, you must be in the body of Christ. In order to be in the body of Christ, Christ must be in your body. For Christ to be in your body, you must present your body as a living sacrifice, holy. Someone said holy. He's holy and acceptable unto God. Now that puts you in the spiritual church. I'm not talking about the natural church. Being in the natural church don't necessarily mean that you are in the spiritual church. Or to be in the spiritual church, you must be in the body of Christ. Or to be in the body of Christ, Christ must be in your body. So say, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, the meek shall inherit the earth. The Bible said God resist the proud and give us grace unto the humble. Praise the Lord. Shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face. He didn't say seek the witch doctor. Or the psychic reader, or the tarot card readers. Those people are of the devil. Come on, somebody. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31, God said, Thou shalt uh, not regard those who got familiar spirits, neither seek after the wizards, for I am the Lord your God. Wizards are male witches. Don't seek after Harry Potter. Come on. Don't seek after them witch doctors who cast spells on people. Uh, got the OG boards and the wicker. All that stuff is of the devil. He said, Seek my face, seek God's face. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, then all these things shall be added unto you. Seek my face and what? Turn from the wicked ways. Turn from the gun violence. Stop it. Put down the gun and make Jesus number one and run. Run to who? Jesus. Now you can put down the gun and stop killing each other because what goes around after a while is going to come around. You live by the sword, you're going to die by it. 
Murderers definitely ain't going to heaven. Racist folk ain't going to heaven. God don't hate black skin. God hates a black heart. You're not a nigga. You a winner. Not a nigga. Come on, somebody. God don't hate black skin. God hates a black heart. So don't let love depart. God don't hate you. Come on now. Let the Lord make you brand new. If you a Jew. That rhymes are like that, but it's true. Let the Lord clean you up and sanctify you holy. God don't hate Indian, so give God thanksgiving. God don't hate Jamaican. He can save a Jamaican. Yes, he can. He can save an African. Yes, he can. He can save a Chinese. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He can save an Arab. He wants us to turn from our wicked ways. I probably miss some other nationalities, so uh, forgive me if I miss your nationality. God knows who you are. Turn from your wicked ways. Then God said, I will come and hear from heaven. I'll forgive your sins and I will heal the land. Now God can heal the land. God's going to have to purify the earth. He's going to wipe out the wicked. That's just what he's doing. Got a, little, a lot of little children are even wicked, even killing their parents. Why? Because they got the same evil spirit a lot of their uh, parents got. You got to live holy around your children and train up a child in the way they should go. So when they grow up, they will not depart from it. Teach your children about Jesus. Teach them holiness. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins. And each child will see the gift of the Holy Ghost. Let's go to part two.